That's pretty cool, huh? So we are sequencing uh, the no input mixing board using a CV sequencer, in this case, the Korg SQ1. Now, this isn't the same as how you might experience a sequencer using pitch in order to, uh, or using voltage in order to control the pitch of an oscillator. What we're doing here instead is we're taking a DC offset and we're injecting that into the feedback loop. And if we do this with just one static DC, it doesn't really change anything. The uh, feedback loop is going to adjust. Let me let me show you what that looks like. So, so it took me a moment to untangle the different sequences, but let me show you now I have just two steps on uh, sequencer A here, which is going currently to nothing, but I'm going to turn it up for our aux one feedback. So it's currently not doing anything. I'm going to turn on the second gate uh, and you'll see it go back and forth between these two states because it's being interrupted. Now, if I make them both the same at zero, it does nothing and we have this tone. If I make them both maximum voltage, we have the same tone. Even though we're putting a DC offset into the feedback loop here, we're not doing anything. But by creating these differences, we create these sort of pulses that interrupt the feedback. And the difference between these pulses actually does seem to matter for the quality of the interruption that we produce. And so this can create some lovely disruptions. And when you're working with a slightly more chaotic system, like, like this here, uh, let me turn these all back on. Yeah, we're good. Let me show you in isolation now what this sounds like on the aux2 feedback. You get a set of tempo synced interruptions that uh, that repeat. Uh, we get the same set of interruptions over and over again. Uh, this is cool. Uh, I I was curious what would happen to use a sequencer with a known put mixing board. Uh, and those DC offsets really do something with the feedback. Um, I feel like there's a lot of percussion synthesis techniques that this would work particularly well with. Yeah, I'll probably experiment more with this and talk about it again, but I wanted to throw this out there uh, because it's really cool. And if you're following along, uh, let me know what you find if you're exploring a technique like this. Thank <laughs> you.